Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. <coughs> now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and he was a rich man and he sought to see who Jesus was. He could not because of the crowd for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead, climbed up in to a sycamore tree to see him for he was going to pass that that way Luke 19 verse 5 and when Jesus came to the place he looked up and saw him and said to him Zacchaeus make haste and come down for today I must stay at your house so he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when the people saw it, they all murmured, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because he also is the son of Abraham. The final verse we're going to read today is Luke 19, verse 10, which says, For the Son of Man has come to seek to save that which was lost and the Son of Man the Son of Man is Jesus the Son of Man is Jesus and we know without a doubt that Jesus came to the earth God became a man God became a man and he dwelt amongst us, the Word, the Word, the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And Jesus, Jesus come to the earth and he came here to look and seek for those who are lost and those who are, are troubled and those who are broken hearted and those who seem to think there's no hope and there's no way. And Zacchaeus, he was a sinner. He was a tax collector and a chief tax collector and he was wealthy and he became wealthy 
by robbing other people through taxes. But when Jesus came into town, Zacchaeus was very keen, very keen to see Jesus and to meet Jesus. And Jesus knew this. And he knows if you're keen today to meet Jesus. He, he knows. God knows if you really want to meet Jesus. And if you really want to follow Jesus. God knows your heart. We know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing the words of the Lord God. I'm reading the word here today. I'm reading the word of God here so that faith may come and that you may be saved and that you may be healed and that you may be blessed and that you may receive of that which the Lord has prepared for those who love him and those who are willing to believe him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him will not perish but have eternal life, everlasting life. And if we're going to say, if we're going to say that we believe, we then must do what Jesus said. We must put Jesus first. We must not think that we're going to do it by ourselves. Because no man or woman has ever done it by themselves and succeeded. No man and no woman has ever done it by themselves and succeeded. No man or woman can enter the kingdom of God without Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to Father unless we first come to Jesus. Most assuredly I say to you, must be born again. What is of the flesh is flesh. What is of the spirit is spirit. Opportunity knocks here today. Salvation has come to this place. Salvation has come to this place. The saving power of Jesus through the word of God. Through this word I'm reading. We read here today of a man who was a thief. He was the chief tax collector and became rich because he robbed the people and charged them too much tax. And then he turns around the moment he met Jesus, there was a turnaround. And he said, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do, Jesus. I'm going to give half of my goods to the poor. And if I've robbed anyone down along the line, I'm going to pay them back. It says here, I will pay them back four times as much. In Luke 19, 8, Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I'll give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything, if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I'll give them four times that amount back. You see the change? That's the change. That's the change that happens when we meet Jesus. When I met Jesus, I changed. I was drunk every day. I was drugged every day. I was smoking cigarettes one after the other. Chain smoking one after the other after the other. I was always sick. I was always coughing. But the Lord, he came and I, like Zacchaeus, put my hand up and I said, you can dwell in me, Lord. You can come into my house. You can dwell 
with me and I with you. And Father in heaven wants us to be one with Jesus as Jesus is with Father. He wants us to be one. He wants us to be one in the Spirit and one in the Lord, Jesus Christ. We can't do that without the Spirit of God. Unless the Holy Ghost comes into our life, we just go down our own road. And that's a wide road. The way of sin is a wide road. Leads to destruction, shame, pain, heartache, loneliness. The wide road is no way to go. Many, many take the wide road, but few decide to take the narrow road. But today, I'm going to give people opportunity to take the narrow road. I'm going to give people the opportunity here today to become a child of the Almighty, Most High God. I'm going to give that opportunity to turn around like Zacchaeus and turn to Jesus for the crimson flow and be washed in the blood of the Lamb, cleansed from all unrighteousness and all uncleanness, cleansed, fresh, born fresh, this time not of a woman, but of God Almighty, ready to start a whole new life and a whole new way of living. It's a new and living way when we meet Jesus. And as we seen Zacchaeus, he was a thief and he was a cheat. And Jesus knew. But Jesus gave him opportunity to turn around. And when Jesus said to him, I'm coming to your house, <coughs> Zacchaeus, he knew who he was talking to. He was talking to a holy man. He was talking to the Son of Man <coughs> who came to seek and to find and save the lost. Oh, now, come to seek, save, and find the lost and save them out of all the dead troubles. Jesus the Christ. He saved me out of all my troubles. But there was an opportunity came. I was able to let go. Jesus came to me, just like I come to you today. He came to me to another man. And the man <coughs> told me about Jesus. And I accepted Jesus <coughs> as my saviour and my friend. And I was turned around. I don't drink alcohol anymore. 22 years, I don't drink alcohol. I don't want the alcohol. I have something better. I have something better. I have the true wine from the true vine. The Word of God. I am satisfied, satisfied with Jesus. I'm satisfied with Him. How long do I smoke cigarettes? I'm delivered. I'm not rehabilitated. I'm delivered. I'm a new creation. Brand new. Brand new man. I don't curse and swear. I used to curse and swear all the day long. But Jesus delivered by his outstretched arm, by his blood. <clears throat> he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary <coughs> to make himself an offering for every sinner on the earth. Made himself an offering for every sinner. Every man and every woman on the face of the earth. And all have sinned. All of us have sinned. We've all fallen short. If we say we have not sinned, we are alive. And the truth is not enough. 
All of us at point born. We're born in sin. <coughs> We're conceived in sin. But we must be born again. Most assuredly, I say to thee. Must be born again. For Jesus came to seek, find, and save the lost. He never comes for the righteous, He comes for the sinner. He never comes for those. He never came to the earth for those who think they're right. He comes for those who know they're wrong. <coughs> and I know I was wrong when I was living in sin. I knew I was wrong when I was drinking and swearing and drugs and cursing. I knew I was in the wrong way. I knew I was on my way to hell, destitute. I was poor, destitute, broken down because I had not the Lord in my life. There is no one so poor as the man or the woman who don't have Jesus. That's the poorest man of all. The poorest man and the poorest woman is the man and woman that don't have Jesus as their saviour and their shepherd. But today, you can receive the Lord as your shepherd. You can receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord. But you can't have him as your shepherd unless he's your Lord. Uh, he must be Lord. He must be number one. We must receive Jesus today as our Savior. If we're going to enter the kingdom of God, unless we be born again, we can't enter the kingdom of God. We can't see the kingdom of God. And we can't know the kingdom of God. We can't know Father. We can't know Jesus. The Holy Ghost cannot come into our lives and lead us and guide us. He's the promise of the Father, the Holy Ghost. <coughs> if your earthly fathers give you good things and they are evil, how much more will your heavenly Father give you the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Can someone say amen today? So, I'm going to give you opportunity now to receive Jesus. And if you want to receive Jesus and turn around and walk the narrow road with Jesus instead of the wide road with the devil to hell, you can walk the narrow road with Jesus. Just a closer walk with me. If you want to receive Jesus as your Saviour, as your Lord and your Shepherd, hey, you can today... You, all you have to do is line up over here. And if you want a blessing of, to be healed, line up over here. And I'll pray for you, brother. I'll pray for you. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. 
Testing. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll ask Brother Boyd to um, sing our song again, <coughs> and we'll finish for the afternoon. Have some fellowship time and something to eat. Brother Boyd, when you're ready. Because he's given Jesus Christ, his son, his place with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks, because he's given Jesus Christ. Is and now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. If Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that salvation has come to this place today. And surely there are many sons of Abraham here. And all the glory belongs to Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen and Amen. Go in the strength of the Lord. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for He has given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for He has given Jesus Christ Himself. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give them.